everybody and welcome back for another VR review. Today we're taking a look at O-Shape, a new rhythm style game currently available in early access. O-Shape puts a new spin on the rhythm based or workout style VR games. Rather than having to strike or shoot objects to the rhythm of the game, you are instead contorting your body. I was initially intrigued by this concept, thought it might be a fun new party game, and a decent alternative to Beat Saber. A hallmark item for every single rhythm game is how it feels to play. It's amazing how slashing little cubes or shooting glowing orbs can be so satisfying. Unfortunately, in O-Shape, this satisfaction was nowhere to be found for me. Mainly because I didn't feel adequately tracked while playing this game, and two major issues stood out to me. The first was I couldn't actually reproduce the shapes that were requested. One example would be if I actually made a T-shape with my body, my hands would be too high. So instead, when putting my arms out to the side, they were really only at chest level. And at this point, the shadow correctly lined up with where they wanted me to be. It also appears that the game is not programmed to support the Valve Index controllers just yet. This was noticeable in two different ways. The first was you couldn't click in any of the menus, you instead had to squeeze the grip, which was quite odd. And the second is the hands were a little bit off angle. So I had to continually hyper extend my wrist for it to think that my hand was actually straight. And if you look closely, you can actually see in some of the video shots that I am repeatedly missing movements based solely on my wrist position. This marred what could have been a really fun experience. There's nothing quite like constantly failing and not really knowing why. So rather than trying to emulate the requested body shapes, I was emulating alternative positions that led to success. Now, after many, many failures on easy, I was able to complete some levels. This failure, however, led to frustration, and overall this was not a satisfying experience. Now I did speak with a lot of other players who tried out this game, and results were mixed. Overall, I was having the worst experience, and I don't know if that's a combination of having a Valve Index, my height, my stature, but I know people who personally tested out multiple headsets and controllers to see if there was a difference, and the answer was yes. So in its current early access state, the game needs some work. Maybe it can even benefit from a practice and calibration screen where you try to emulate the requested positions and maybe have the option to fine tune it if you feel like you are not being tracked correctly. Now, if tracking was not an issue, I feel like this is a game I would turn on for every type of VR party I have. It's definitely more entertaining as a spectator than watching someone play Beat Saber. Now, in early access, there's only currently four songs available, but I actually like each and every one. The game did get me to shake my butt around like an idiot, so I was definitely immersed, something that any good VR game should do to you. And even in my frustrated state, I constantly battled the internal struggle of, okay, I'll just try one more time. J just one more time. Just one more time. So there definitely is something here. It has the potential to be an alternative rhythm-based game, but if it's ever going to eventually compete with something like Beat Saber, it's going to either have to come in at a lower price point, come in with a lot more content, or really refine the mechanics to a point where they're just much better than they are right now. And before you point the finger and say, well, it's just me, I have no rhythm, which is definitely not true. I actually had my wife come down and try a few rounds and her experience was actually a little bit worse than mine. But in her defense, she definitely can't dance. So if you're itching for an alternative rhythm based game, keep an eye on this title. I can't recommend it just yet. Wait for some updates, hope things improve, hopefully there's more songs added soon. Then at that point, maybe I could recommend this game. Okay everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys on next time.